Hello, race fans. Tom Harris joining you for this edition of Post Time at Portland Meadows, joined today by Racing Secretary Jerry Coles. Jerry, welcome to the show. Thank you, Tom. Glad to have you. We've got a, you know, what a tremendous season. We've been uh, off to a great start, I think. Uh, uh, you've got... Uh, probably the best field sizes you've seen in quite a while. Yeah, we're up uh, almost a whole horse per race. We're at 7.8 last year at this time we're at 6.9. So. Wow, yeah, so that's that's really good. I know yeah. we ran our first 12-horse uh, field, and somebody asked me, do we even have a 12-horse gate? I said, yeah. well, yeah, of course we do. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that was funny because the Bob, everyone knows, uh, asked me before that race, have you guys checked out the 11 and 12 uh, <laughs> hole? Make sure they, uh, they'll they open. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't get a lot of use, but it, it was great to see that. Uh, we don't get a lot of 12-horse fields, but lately, this season, we've sure seen a lot of 10 and 11 and now a 12-horse field. And it just the, the field size is up, and it's not because we have more horses. No, we have uh, approximately 25 less race horses than a year ago. Uh, but the horsemen have really stepped up and entered their horses. Yeah, I mean, the participation rate is, is tremendous. And, uh, you know, to, to have better field sizes now than from a year ago with less horses is, is really, uh, uh, that's a feather in your hat for sure. And, and the horsemen as well stepping yeah, up, like sure. you say, you know. And, and you know what's interesting is we're seeing a lot of horses, and Peter Lurie of uh, TVG also made reference to this, seeing a lot of horses from all over the country uh, that are arriving here, and I've used this term before, convergent zone, an old weatherman uh, terminology, but <laughs> we seem to be a little bit of a convergent zone. We're getting horses out of, out of California, even the Midwest, some from Canada, and of course up yeah. in Washington at Emerald Downs, and uh, what do you attribute yeah. that to? Just the horsemen, they'll uh, step up, and uh, before they'll, the meet starts, they'll go out and buy horses, and they go all over to get them. They do. I mean, and that's a fact. I mean, uh, Indiana, Prairie Meadows I've seen horses from. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I called a horse the other day, always outnumbered, who I could almost be positive was at Sam Houston Race Park just a few years ago. Oh. <laughs> uh, either Rotama or Sam Houston. I know he's down there in Texas. Came from Oklahoma, uh, okay. up from Remington. So, yeah, I mean, it's widespread, and it really makes for uh, interesting competition, too, when you've got to sit down and try to calculate from a handicapper's vantage point horses that have never seen each other before how how will that play into the equation uh and the racetracks it, it it's not for everyone is it no that's for sure uh some horses just do not like this sand surface we have it it's pretty much pure clean sand and uh most of the horses like it, but sometimes if a horse has never been over this track and they, they get on there, they just won't like it. Yeah, it's it. and that's just something we don't know until until they, until get, they, a race. Try it. Yeah, until they yeah. get a race on it. Uh, we've got some good races today. Uh, we've got the Far West Futurity worth, how much is that race? Yeah, this little over 32000 Wow, that's a nice dash. you got Connie Chumbly's uh, uh, GC Harry's game, who kind of surprised him in the trials, popped up, ran a big race. Yeah, I did. Uh, those races are always just great to watch. Yeah, it, maturity finals it, and a lot of talent too. You know, for the Pacific Northwest, you know, not really known for big quarter horse racing. Although, having said that, you know, Abigail Kawana Nanakoa, who's been an icon in quarter horse racing, uh, is from just over the hill. Well, I say uh, over the hill, but the Tri Cities, Washington uh, uh -huh. area, and she's. Uh, been a big uh, player in quarter horse racing for many many years and uh and it's in the fair circuit and also at sundowns they run a lot of uh, quarter horses here so we yeah. got a pretty hearty group of competition we do they're they're not easy races that's for sure they're tough to win we got a couple of other uh, interesting races today we've got uh, the two-year-olds going postward in uh, the stakes race yeah the detroit lake that's our first two-year-old stakes of the year so that's always interesting to watch the babies go around there Absolutely, and, and three of them, I think, three or four of them are first-time starters. Right, right. I think, uh, well, I'm not sure, I think there's seven in the race, and yeah. six of them, I think six are Phillies. 
Yeah, isn't that? Five or six or Philly. So. But, but you know, you, a lot of uh, a lot of horsemen think that uh, Phillies mature faster than the boys do for the first, uh, you know, the first True, yeah. first year of their racing career. Uh, one of the horses uh, from that race is a horse that was up at Emerald Downs. I'm a get mines who Blaine Wright had uh, up the road. I think Ashley, uh, maybe it's Ashley Potts. I don't have the program in front yeah. of me, but uh, where's your program? Tom? I didn't bring it along, son of a gun. <laughs> but I'm a get mines breaks from that outside. Side post, I think, will be prominent in that race. But then we move on to the uh, the Mount St. Helens. Uh, yeah, that's a real good race. It's today. a real nice race. And Copy Be Gone going to carry a pound more today. Yeah, she was uh, pretty impressive her first race here. And uh, she's definitely the one to beat. Yes, I, I've been just on a tear lately, and there's a little new blood, though. Here again, uh, we've got some of those horses coming from uh, out of town. Closters is a horse coming up from Golden Gate Fields in California. Uh, Jerry, it's not a horse we've seen here before, but only a year ago, this horse was facing Stakes Company down at Santa Anita and Del Mar, so a world of back class there. Yeah, for sure. So we've got a very competitive group. Thanks for taking time out to join us today. It's oh. always a pleasure. It's not often we get to lasso the racing yeah, secretary no. <laughs> here. We're glad to have you, though. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Glad to be here. Jerry Cole's our racing secretary here at Portland Meadows. All the action straight ahead.